Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you couldn't tell from that intro, today we're gonna be making our very own custom 3D printed Star Wars lightsabers. I'm super excited with this one, so let's just jump right into it. And then you gotta do the uh, lightsaber transition. You uh, like, like this. So these files are from a Patreon group, Hex3D. It's one of the coolest Patreons I've ever seen. They literally have hundreds of files with new files every month. A really awesome Facebook group with uh, over 23,000 members. It's super helpful with tips and tricks with the prints. And every patron, every patron? patron is able to sell their prints. So if you're a part of this group, you can start your own Etsy, you can sell prints on eBay, which is really cool because I think a lot of people have started their own side business with 3D printing and the prints from Hex3D. <laughs> Jeff over at Hex3D released not one, but three different saber packs. Every pack consists of shrouds, supports, hilts, lower sections, and pommels. So basically, it's the build your own lightsaber workshop in your very own home. I picked out my pieces and started printing. I do all my printing on my CR10S Pro V2. I've been printing on this religiously for two years and I absolutely love it. You can print a whole lightsaber with less than one roll of plastic, so that's really great. But on top of that, you really don't need supports for the lightsaber. So let's talk about electronics because what is a good lightsaber without electronics and that vroom? I picked up all the electronics conveniently enough through Amazon. Links will be in the description below for everything that I used. First we have the electronics kit from Damien Saber. This thing is killer. Over 15 sound modes, quick color changes, and a highly sensitive motion sensor and is rechargeable. Next is the saber blade. I used the YDD 92 centimeter lightsaber blade. It fits perfectly into the top of the lightsaber. Now everything screws together, all the pieces screw together and everything fit really well except the electronics. So I had to create a custom, a custom sanding drill bit to drill out the center of the lightsaber and yeah. Moving on, my favorite part of every build, the weathering, I use a combo of black, brown, burnt umber acrylic paint. I dab it on, wipe it off, dab some more on, and really you're just building up the paint job. Lastly, I had some leather lace sitting around and I decided to use it on the handle. I think it gives it like this real like grungy, dirty look uh, and I, it fits it really well. There you have it, my very own custom 3D printed lightsaber. I'm super happy with how it turned out, like I said. I love how it looks like it was picked up out of the desert and, you know, battle hardened lightsaber. Yeah, I dig it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below in the comments. And, and until next time, may the force be with you. See ya. Lightsaber transition. Yum. I really just filmed that whole video and I didn't hit record. Take two.